friends, I am Dr. Shweta Mishra, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce and Management, Biani Group of Colleges, welcomes you all on behalf of GuruGPO.com. The topic which I am going to discuss today is Spearman's Rank Correlation. Earlier in my previous lecture, I have already discussed about the topic when the ranks are given to us. Now, in my today's video lecture, I would like to discuss with you the how to solve the question when ranks are not given to us. Now, look at the question. Now, calculate rank correlation. We have given the remarks or we have given the marks given by the judges that is judge X and judge Y. Now, as per the rank given, we have to first form a table. Now, in the same manner, we are going to write here rank 1 and in the same manner, we are going to write the marks given by judge Y. Now, these are the marks given by judges X and judges Y. Now, it's as per your choice whether you are giving the rank to the highest marks or you are starting from the ranks of lowest marks. Now, if you are starting from the if you are starting to give ranks from the highest marks, then you have to follow the same pattern in both the marks. Now, here I am giving the highest rank to the highest marks that is 95. I am going to give first rank. Now, the second is 88. Now, the third one is 81. Fourth one is 80, fifth is 75, sixth is 70, seventh is 60 and eighth is 50. In the same manner, I am going to give the ranks to the marks given by Y judge and write here as R2. The highest mark scored by the student is 150. So, I am going to give here rank 1. Now, moving on forward, the next highest mark is 142 sorry 142 yeah third one is 140 next highest marks is 120 sorry it's 134 now next highest marks is 120 moving on to the next is 115 now next is 110 and the last is 100 now these are the ranks as we have assigned as per the question R1 and R2. Now the next step which we have to follow is we have to subtract R1 minus R2 and it is denoted by D that is deviation. Now 5 minus 5 it comes to 0, 2 minus 4 is minus 2, 1 minus 1 it is 0, 6 minus 6 it is 0, 7 minus 7 is 0, 4 minus 3 is 1, 3 minus 2 is 1, 8 minus 8 is 0. Now, the next step is we have to square it up. So, 0, 2 to the 4, 0, 0, 0, here it is 1, it is 1, 0 and the total it comes to 6 and the total is arrived at 6, 4, 5 and 6. Now, we have calculated the squaring up, it comes to 6. Now, the formula is 1 minus 6 sigma d square n n square minus 1. So, 1 minus 6 into sigma d square value is 6, n is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 into 8 is a 64 minus 1 that is 1 minus 36 upon 504, it comes to 1 minus 0 0.07 that is plus 0.93. So, there is a perfect positive correlation between the marks given by judge X and judge Y. Now, for more informational video, do not forget to like, comment, like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you.